Good morning, everyone. So crazy news today. Amazon Web Services has announced a quantum computing chip called Ocelot. We're going to talk about, so today we're going to talk about Ocelot. We're going to go through an article. I've already highlighted um, some of the key pieces of the article that I think are interesting. And then we're going to talk also about some recent headlines. We're going to talk about Microsoft's Meharana chip and some of the controversy that that's created in the scientific community. Lots in this video. We're going to pack in a lot of information in a small amount of time. So hope you enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, uh, please consider leaving a like or subscribe if I have earned it. So let's jump right in. So Amazon Web Services has announced Ocelot, a chip which uses scalable architecture for reducing error correction by up to 90% and accelerating the development of real world quantum computing applications. First of all, super exciting to see this headline. In fact, it, it's sitting right at the top of uh, Yahoo Finance right now. Um, and so anytime any sort of positive quantum computer news from any major tech company is making mainstream headlines, that's good for all quantum. Um, let's hop back to the article. So directly from about amazon.com, um, this is the article that they released today. I've gone in and highlighted already, so we can just jump right through this article. But essentially, they announced Ocelot, a new quantum computing chip that can reduce the cost of implementing quantum error correction by up to 90% compared to current approaches. Pretty, pretty spooky. Um, every time I see a quantum computer, like they're just so beautiful. Like, <clears throat> like all of that is just to cool down this tiny, tiny chip that has the qubits on it. It's crazy how much goes into it. Um, so Amazon Web Services has used a novel design for Ocelot's architecture, building an error correction from the ground up and using the cat qubit. Cat qubits are named after Schrodinger's Schrodinger's cat thought experiment, which intrinsically suppresses certain forms of errors, reducing the res resources required for quantum error correction. So history shows that important advancements in computing have been made fundamentally by rethinking hardware components. The computer revolution truly took off when the transistor replaced the vacuum tube, enabling room-sized computers to be shrunk down in today's compact and more powerful, reliable, and lower-cost laptops. Choosing the right building block to scale is critical, and today's announcement represents an important step in developing efficient means to scaling up to practical fault-tolerant quantum computers. With recent advancements in quantum research, it is no longer a matter of if, but when, fault-tolerant quantum computers will be available for real-world applications. Ocelot is an important step on that journey. So my favorite part about this is now, in the last three months, we have Google Willow, we have Microsoft Meharana One, and we have Amazon. And they've all taken different approaches to the same difficult problem of quantum computing. And you have these major tech players, and then you have all of the smaller companies that are also working on this problem with their own approaches. The major challenge with quantum computing, one of the biggest challenges with quantum computers is that they're incredibly sensitive to the smallest changes or noise in their environment, vibrations, heat, electromagnetic interference, cell phones, Wi-Fi networks, or even cosmic rays and radiation from outer space can all knock qubits out of their quantum state. The biggest challenge isn't just building more qubits, it's making them work reliably. So I, what I loved about Amazon's approach is that they have essentially approached this problem from the error correction side. A new approach to quantum error correction. So Ocelot was designed from the ground up with error correction built in. We looked at how others were approaching quantum error correction and decided to take a different path. We didn't take an existing architecture and then try to incorporate error correction afterwards. We selected our qubit in architecture with quantum error correction as the top requirement. We believe that if we're going to make practical quantum computers, quantum error correction needs to come first. So I love this approach from Amazon. Um, when you're building something from the ground up and 
recognizing immediately that the problem, one of the biggest challenges is error correction and noise and that type of thing in quantum computers. So it looks like with Ocelot, that is a core foundational building block of the design of their chip. So pretty incredible stuff. Making science fiction fact. I'm gonna throw the link to this article and other articles down in the description, so don't worry about that. Ocelot Fast Facts. Ocelot is a prototype quantum computing chip designed to test the effectiveness of Amazon Web Services quantum error correction architecture. It consists of two silicon microchips. Each silicon microchip is a thin layer of superconducting materials that forms the quantum circuit element so on and so forth. So awesome news from Amazon. What does that mean for us? So I think that what is most interesting about everything that's been happening these last couple couple months in the quantum computer space is the acceleration of headlines. We keep seeing more and more news. We see big tech players stepping up to the plate with their own plays in this space, which I think will lift the whole sector. Let's take a look at some of those recent headlines. Um, so if you jump over to the quantumbull.com, so I built this website specifically for people who want to learn, follow the news, or invest in quantum computers. It's the quantumbull.com slash news. And I just wanted to go through just the last, we're February 27th, just the last eight days. So. In the last eight days, we have Microsoft revealing their Mejorana One quantum chip, marketing, marking a significant leap in quantum computing. Experts question Microsoft's breakthrough. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about that. I'm not like, as, as I've said on this channel since I started the channel, I'm not building quantum comp computers. I'm an en enthusiastic investor and I'm learning a lot as I go um, and I also, believe that this squarely is the future of compute. It's the future of AI and it's going to change the world. That That's why I'm doing all this. So um, as far as the nitty gritty technicals, I will lean on the experts. And I think with time, um, we're going to have the answers one way or another. So then we also have DARPA planning to expand their quantum benchmarking initiative. We have Forbes with a major article, which was covered on this channel, quantum computing has arrived, we need to prepare for its impact. Um, recently, I saw a headline, quantum machines secured $170 million in Series C funding. Psy Quantum has uh, commenced mass production of quantum computing chips. So this is accelerating pretty quickly. Let's, let's just spend a few moments on Meherana One and let's spend it on the experts questioning the quantum breakthrough. So I watched the whole interview. Um, let me see if I can quickly find it. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a really great article out on YouTube. Sorry, uh, there's a really great video out on YouTube where Satya Nadella speaks with the current Microsoft CEO about all things AI, data centers, and quantum computing. I do recommend you go over and watch this video for yourself. The feel that I get <clears throat> and the reason that I'm skeptical about the skepticism is I, I feel like it's kind of a branding, potentially a branding problem for Microsoft. If, they're, if they are this multi-trillion dollar company and they're like, oh, we need to be relevant in this space, so let's just announce something that's not ready, it doesn't seem super consistent with Microsoft's long history of producing good products and adding value to society. Now, getting into the nitty gritty and getting into the weeds, maybe a future video, we can talk more about this. But if you haven't watched this interview, I will leave it in the description. Definitely go over and take a look. I might make a, a React video on this video specifically. Um, let's cover a couple quick more things. So SciQuantum has commenced mass production of quantum computing chips. We can go read the full article. 
from Reuters. Um, okay, millions of quantum computing chips. That's yesterday. That's a big headline. Um, DARPA with the major expansion of the quantum benchmarking initiative. We've covered that. There's potentially some future catalysts coming up for quantum computer small cap and mid cap companies if they were are to win DARPA awards. And all of this, what does all this mean? What it means is things are happening very quickly. I have said on this channel many times that there are going to be one more than one successful approach to building quantum computers and finding commercial value for quantum computers. Now, which company creates the fastest scalable and commercially viable quantum computer? That's that race is open at the moment. So we have three major tech players of the Magnificent Seven in the US that have now shown their quantum computer research and chip. All of them have different approaches. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I think this is a super interesting time. What does it do? It validates that we are on a frontier. Okay, so if we go over the quantumbull.com, when I was staying up till three o'clock in the morning and uh, building this website out of sheer excitement, the reason I chose this image for the, the homepage is because it's a frontier, right? Like we're, we're, on, the, we're on the precipice of inhumanity of major scientific progress. I liken it to the invention of the light bulb or the internet or the cell phone, like the, the, the advancement of quantum computers will be potentially the single greatest invention of mankind. And we can dream about those possibilities over on the quantum bull. If you're excited about this new frontier, like I am, please go take a look, share the website with family and friends. If they're interested, if you're interested in investing in quantum computers, I keep a list of the top eight quantum computer stocks on the quantumbull.com slash invest. If you found value out of this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribe. Good luck out there. We'll talk to you all soon.